Hey class, good afternoon. I wish you were here. Just I thought this would have been a fun lab, but uh, since you guys were locked out, you guys can live vicariously through me. Uh, today, the lab that we're going to be doing is the uh, ideal known ion lab. That's this guy right here. Okay, that's the lab that we're doing. And the thing is that um, there are a series of six parallel tests in three parts. One is the calibration of your various solutions. Then what you do is you pick an unknown, in which case we're gonna pick D. And what happens, you're gonna do the same unknown for the cat anion test as well as the cat ion test, okay? So anyway, I'll go, go back to this in just a moment. Let me show you guys the setup. Oh, by the way, um, the most of the chemicals are rather corrosive. So therefore, that's why you see me with a goggle as well as gloves on, okay? So that's very important that you do wear that. Okay, now what we got over here is this. We have four processing solutions which is sodium sulfate, sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, and sodium hydroxide. Now what happened is that the sodium ion acts as a spectator ions, and the anion, in this case, is the active ingredient, okay? Now the next thing is this, we have five cation standards. One is sodium nitrate for sodium, silver nitrate for silver, uh, silver plus, a barium nitrate, barium two plus, a nitric acid, which is a hydrogen plus, and then ammonium nitrate, which is NH4 plus, okay? Now, so therefore, these are for the first part, the calibration, and then after you have done the calibration run, what you then do is that you'll pick an unknown, okay? So there are five unknowns, A, B, C, D, and E. Now you notice that they're all clear solutions. And what we're trying to do is that this is like a detective stories kind of thing, in the sense that we're trying to figure out what cation, which anion are in each one of these solutions, okay? And in which case, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do D, okay? That's the one we're gonna play with today as the unknown, okay? Now make sure that you're gonna use the same solution for part, for the cation test as well as the anion test, okay? So that's the philosophy right there. So if you look, calibration, and ion test, and the cat ion test, okay? I'll show you guys the equipment in just a bit, son. All right, class, for each of the tests, you will need four test tubes and a beaker, okay? Now, the test tubes, you can just look at the color, or you can fill it. Now, for the beaker, this one is what we call the sniffer. This is only applied for the ammonium nitrate uh, column, okay? Now what you do is that when you're doing a sniffer, what you want to do is that you know, pour the liquid in, and then what you do is that to go and get a whiff of that. What you want to do is a proper technique is to do this. Take a deep breath, and then what you then do is waft the fume to you, okay? That, and then what happens is if you have enough air in your lung, if it's irritating, you could go <laughs> snort it back out. Do that before you do that, okay? The first thing is this, don't do this. You'll get the dry again. That would suck really bad, okay? You're gonna burn your nose. So never do this, let's swap it, okay? So that's the technique to use when we're sniffing, okay? All right, first test, the sulfate test. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna use sodium sulfate, okay? Now what I've done was I loaded the four test tubes as well as a beaker with the sodium sulfate, and what you do is you just go and a squirt each is all you need. We don't wanna generate a ton of waste, okay? Now what you do is squirt from the back to the front, okay? So here we go. First test tube. Well, we got the sodium sulfate in each of the front containers. So in that case, sodium nitrate, silver nitrate, barium nitrate, nitric acid, be careful with the nitric acid. That thing is really corrosive. It'll hurt when you get it on you. And then ammonium nitrate. Okay? So that's what we got here. Now, with the beaker, what you want to do is go and sniff. And apparently there is no smell on this one. Okay? So anyway, what you got over here is here's the observation. We'll zoom in, and then after we'll take a picture for you later. Class, after every test, you gotta go pour your liquid away. 
So therefore, you have your waste container right there. And what you want to do is that you want to pour the waste, all of your waste, into the waste container. Okay? Also the beaker too. So in that case, pour it out. Now the thing is that the rinse set, in between each of the rinse, each of the tests, you need to rinse. Now you want to squirt bottle and make sure this is distilled water, not tap water, because you get false positives. Now what you do is this, don't fill the test tube up because what happens is that that's going to generate a lot of waste. Three small rinse is better than one gigantic waste. Okay, so it goes like this. Go like this. Another one. And like that. Third, usually if the tech, three rinse is sufficient. Okay, so like that. Now you do that with the rest of the test tube and then go to the next one. You don't need to dry the test tube, okay? Don't waste your time drying the test tube. All right, I'm not gonna do the rest. I just show you how to do one, son. All right, class, now that we've done the sodium sulfate, let's do the sodium nitrate test. Okay, so therefore what I got over here is that I have the four test tubes as far as the beaker. I'm gonna load it up. And again, the philosophy is squirt from the back to the front. It's just simple as that. So again, sodium nitrate, silver nitrate, barium nitrate, nitric acid, and then ammonium nitrate. Okay, now what you want to do is that quickly. Uh, again, I smell nothing. So good. In that case, you see it's that simple. It's not complicated. In that case, here's the observation. I'm going to zoom in and let you guys see it, and I'll take a picture and give it to you later. Okay, it's fine. Okay. All right, class, now that we've done the other one, here we go, sodium chloride test. So what you do again, you loaded the four test tubes and a beaker with sodium chloride, a squared each, and then what you then do is, here we go, again, same procedure, okay? So, sodium nitrate, oops, uh, be a little bit more careful. Silver nitrate, barium nitrate, ammon, let's say uh, barium nitrate, uh, uh, nitric acid, and then ammonium nitrate. And again, quickly, that ah, smell nothing. Okay. So in that case, there it is. You see how quick it is? There's the observation. Let's zoom in. And then after, I'll take a picture for you guys, okay? All right, class. Here's the uh, fourth test for the calibration, okay? So we're doing sodium hydroxide. Hey, guys, be careful with this one. This one's really corrosive. If you get it on you, it'll be slippery first, followed by burn, followed by dissolve. So far, if you feel itchy, wash off. All right, anyway, what I've done was that... Um, I, fill, I loaded a squirt into each of the container. That's four test tubes as well as a beaker. Now, here we go again. Now, deeper voice. All right, here we go. Sodium nitrate. Silver nitrate. Barium nitrate. Nitric acid. And then ammonium nitrate. Okay, let's do it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, burning sensation. That's the ammonia. Okay, and then also, hmm, this one right here, yeah, it feels warm. Okay, so the observation for this one is warm. It's clear but warm. Now, the rest of the observation, let's zoom in, let you guys see it. Okay, so let me uh, swirl this one a bit so you can see it a little bit more uniform. Okay, so this one right here was warm, and this one right here, oh, it smelled like the hair dye thing. All right, I'm gonna zoom in, and I'll take a picture for you guys later. Note that this one is warm, and this one smelled like the hair dye thing. It's a burning sensation. All right, now that we've finished the calibration, uh, typically in lab, you wanna show your teacher the observation first. Make sure it's correct before you do the test, because otherwise, you're, what happened? You got the wrong data up from front. You're going to have a really hard time. Anyway, there's the I, cho I chose DSE unknown. Go do the anion test. Now the equipment is the same 
as the calibration runs. Okay, so here we go. What I done was that I uh, filled out four test tube as well as the beaker with the unknown D. Okay, now here we go. Sodium nitrate, silver nitrate, oh, something happened there. Barium nitrate, and nitric acid, that's this one. Oh, almost got in the wrong one. And then ammonium nitrate into this one. All right, now what I should do is that, see if I can feel it. Nope, don't feel anything. And then also this one, I should have done this one first, sniff. Ah, no smell, okay, so no smell. So therefore, this is the anion test result for unknown number D. Let's zoom in, I'll let you guys see it. I'll take a picture for you guys later. Remember, this one was just clear, this one has no smell, just clear. Okay, you know, you All right, class. We just finished the calibration table as well as the anion test. Now what we're gonna do is gonna do the cation test, okay? Now I'm gonna use the D unknown. Remember the two tests use the same unknown. Now the equipment has changed a bit in the sense that it is now three test tubes and one beaker, okay? Now what you do is this, um, the, um, I got D into each one of these containers. In one of them, I'm gonna put in sodium sulfate. Second one, I'm gonna put in sodium nitrate. Third one, I'm gonna put sodium uh, chloride, and the last one, I'm gonna put sodium hydroxide, okay? So therefore, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to uh, do the one by one, I'm gonna park it. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'll park it like that. That way you can kind of see. So therefore, there's that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this. Sodium sulfate on this first one, so one square. Wow, ooh, interesting, interesting. Okay, second one, sodium nitrate. And, okay. Third one, sodium chloride. Okay, and then the last one, Sodium hydroxide. Now this one you're gonna to have to feel and sniff, okay? So, there we go. Squirt. Okay, and quickly. Ah, nothing happened. It's just no smell. So therefore, there's an the observation, okay? Let's zoom in. So this is the result. So you got D on all of them. This is for the sodium sulfate, this is for the sodium nitrate, sodium chloride, and sodium hydroxide, okay? So we'll zoom in, and then after I'll take a picture, and now you have all the observation needed to fill out page 63 on your data sheet, okay? So based on that, what you wanna do is that you want to decide which is which. And the thing is that, um, that's enough for now. Okay, sorry. All right, class. Now that you did all the hard work on the analysis, you notice how I did that? That wasn't that bad, right? Six parallel tests and be done with it. Now, the secret for success for this particular lab is to be consistent. Meaning if you see something and you call it something, you say the same thing when you see it the second time. So don't go hazy and next time say cloudy. That's, you'll mess up. So in other words, if you're consistent, there, you'll be successful. So therefore you call something an elephant first time and you see the same thing, it's an elephant, okay? All right, so anyway, what we got out here, I'm pretending here. We got the data. This is like your calibration table. You notice I got all kinds, I just made up a bunch of stuff. Now, there's your data that you showed your teacher and they said, okay, it's correct. There's your observation. And then what you did, you did your anion test and you got these observations, okay? And then when you did the cation test, you got these observations. Now, the thing is that this lab is designed to be nothing subtle. All right, so as long as you're consistent, you're good. So in that case, what you want to do is that to go and identify the anion, you compare this row with one of these rows. Okay? So look at this one right here. Triangle, square, star, one, four in Chinese. Now take a look. 
You look at these particular columns, uh, this row here, take a look. Oh, it matched that guy. Yeah? So the one that means that if it matches this column, then this is the anion, okay? In that case, you go like this. Ah, okay? And then, now for the cation, what you want to do is you want to match this column with one of these columns here. So like this, yeah? So take a look. It says clear five foreign Chinese on the moon. Which one is that? Oh, uh, that. No, no, just kidding. Uh, this one. So in that case, what does that mean? That means it's ammonium, yes? So in that case, you go, oh, okay. Like that. Now what you then do is I look at these two, and you want the least common multiple between the charges. And if they are the same, but opposite, just glue them together. Otherwise, you go and uh, cross multiply, okay? So take a look. There's the ammonium, and there's a the chloride, okay? So that's how you do this kind of analysis. Now, however, let me say this. I just put a red herring in there. What's a red herring? Just leading information. That's not the right answer, man. But anyway, the method is correct. Anyway, enjoy.